Ain't no passing parade. It means no worries for the rest of your day. Yes, sing it, kid. It's our problem free philosophy. A cool matata. Ooh, that was good. Harmony. <laughs> Bonsai. Ed. 
Cindy is correct. Cindy, bonsai and then. Y'all are good. I remember I was doing a, a trivia game with this with like Leo Camacho and, so, uh, and Sarah Snitch and a couple other people, and they were struggling with that one. I was, I was like, good, y'all got that. This one's gonna be a little easier, so here we go. Which famous voice actor provided the voice for Mufasa? Oh, right back there in the back in the black shirt. In the in the hat. Me? Oh me, okay. Uh yes. the great James Earl Jones. The great James Earl Jones! <laughs> yes indeed! <laughs> that is Thank important. you. I got it right. <laughs> so next up it is my pleasure to introduce our next guest coming up. He was one of the animators on the Lion King. In fact, he was the supervising animator for Pumba. Please welcome Tony Bancroft! Thanks guys for coming out. And, uh, can everybody hear me okay? Yep. So it's my honor to be able to be here with the biggest fan of the Lion King ever. This is Brian Hall. I just listened to his podcast. Anybody listen to the Baby Bobby Boo podcast? Bibby Bobby Bros! Bros! Bibby Bobby Bros! Sorry. It's alright. Bros! It's alright. We kind of stole the name anyway. <laughs> yeah, I worked on the film back, I think I started out, I want to say 1992. The movie came out in 1994. I probably started like later, end of 1992 or early 1993. I was on a little over a year, year and a half, something like that. And um, we started out by like, doing a lot of research into uh, real animals. Because when we first came on as animators, the studios said, and the directors particularly, Rob Minkow and Rob Drower said, we really want it to be like Bambi, but in the Serengeti. So all these great uh, African animals, and I was assigned early on to do uh, Pumba, the warthog, and I knew early on that Pumba and Timon were real seed stillers. They made they, the story reels and the animatics, there was already a lot of attention given to those guys, and they were, they were just really funny together. Nathan Lane is the voice of, uh, of Timon, and Puba is voiced by Ernie Isabella, and they're both Broadway guys. And the uh, trivia, which I know you guys talked about on your podcast, is that they went into audition together, um, but it was actually um, the story I heard. There you go. What? There you go. You got it? Okay. So I'm drawing a little bit of a Pumba here. He starts with a cranium. Most Disney characters start with a cranium, a big circle or something like that. A much cuter little stature because they're like one big, chunky little animal. Uh, so they're chunky, right? So a pig is like, you know, like a big, chunky thing like this. They got a cute little curly tail and stuff. And these, they got these big and little, little ears and little snap and stuff like that, right? got these chunky little short legs. And I thought, okay, if there's something I could get from pigs and add that to Pumba, it would be, I liked that his overall body was, basically his head is as big as his torso. <laughs> his, his entire body is like a big smile shape. It's a big curve, because he's jolly, right? He's this jolly little pig, a uh, little warthog guy, and I just wanted him to feel really happy, so I gave him this nice line of action arc that goes through his whole body and it just kind of brought him to life a little bit more and made him cute and lovable like a little plush toy that you could buy if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Which you probably did. Which we were talking about this. Uh, as many of y'all know, I just got back from Disneyland Paris and while we were there I found a Pumba plush I'd never seen before. But when you pull his tail, he farts. <laughs> He saw that on my Insta story, and he's just like, I have that one, and I'm like, oh, so jealous. If I had a bigger suitcase, it would have come home with me. Then you put a bug in his mouth and he burps. It was beautiful. Yes, please. We got it. Oh, I like your Simba, man. Oh, yeah, both got Simba and Puka. You wanted to show him. You got three Pukas? Yeah. How about Oh, you got Mufasa? Yeah, Mufasa. <laughs> Did that work for y'all? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was nice. Donald. Donald's another one of his favorites. Do you love Donald? Yeah. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> you did such a great job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One more question, Ryan. Yes. Why is Kumba your favorite? Ooh. Because I don't think I've ever seen you actually answer that question on your videos. I don't know if I've ever answered it before. I guess just because I felt such a kindred spirit to him as a kid, not because of the party, but. Were you awkward? Well, it wasn't because I was awkward, it's just because I wanted to be, like, uh, I think I was smarter than I let on most of the time in my life, and probably still even now, but at the same time, I just wanted to see everybody else succeed, so I'm just like, hey, y'all go do your thing, I'm just gonna hang back here, have some grubs, and root, root, root you on, I'll support right? you yeah. all the way. Yeah, there you go. That's right. He's a good friend. Yeah, there you go. Hey guys, how's it going? Akuna Matara! <laughs> <laughs> There's no worries. That's so awesome. Like, yeah. Can you hold this real quick? Sure. Sorry, I had like to take something. Yeah. I apologize when I first came in. I didn't even realize who you were. It went right over my head. Oh, you, so, were, you were nice. Yeah. You didn't slap me in the face or anything, so that was good. <laughs> well, I just was like, hey, hey. And then the pastor said, yeah, it was like you was a door greeter or something. I was like, hey, I was thinking. And I even complimented you on your shirt. It totally didn't even occur. And I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so silly. <laughs> I just love that you guys brought your kids. Was oh, this their first uh, first time with Lion King? Probably. Oh, yeah. I think it's his first. Yeah. Once before, yeah. Once before, Have you seen Lion King? Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. Well, oh, then you guys got all the figures. Yeah. yeah. No, those were my toys from when my brother and I were kids. No way. Yeah. So I'm still in pretty good condition. Huge blessing because my brother contacted me. He said, "Hey, I got uh, our toys. No way. Do you want them?" I said, "Sure." He goes, "Well, in 17 bucks." I said, I'll take it. So <laughs> Jurassic Park, original Jurassic Park. No way. And then, of course, the Lion King. So I remember, though, how much fun we used to have with yeah. the Mr. Kuma's Mona. We sang we sang, Kuma 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 Kuma. We sang it. We sang it for, to win a pie on Mother's Day at Calico Burst Town. <laughs> no like, way. Yeah, so my brother used to take the Pumbo one, and I would take yeah, Timon. You would be Timon, yeah. yeah. But it was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. We actually won it if you want to mind signing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Thank you. Oh, oh, you're welcome. Yeah, the man who drew Kumba right. yeah. is drawing on Matt's Kumba. Akuma Matata. Akuma Matata. Akuma Matata. Ain't no passing phrase. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Yes. Sing it, kid. It's our problem free. Philosophy, a cool avatar. Ooh, that was good. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, there you go. That was all Tony. That was all Tony. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Really nice to meet you guys. Oh, yeah. Coming out. Yeah. No, thank you so much. Awesome. Yeah. There he is. Thank you. Thank you, Juan. <laughs> Wait, you got a picture with him. Oh, yeah, yeah. And here we've got Hector Barbosa in the flesh, scrubbing the, the hole, is it? Is that what you're doing? I think I know what I'm doing, but what are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? I want you to know I'm rooting for you, Max. Okay. You're rooting for me, yes. All is rooting for you. Mm. The wonderful Brian Hall, thank you so much. Yay! <laughs> I don't remember you rooting for me. That's all right, then, mate. The wonderful Brian Hall, thank you so much. Yay! <laughs> and, and, and the wonderful, and the wonderful uh, Percival throwing an ice cream there. From the crow's nest. Yeah. That's right. Or actually, they'd be in the bridge. Ice in the bridge, yeah.